Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali and in this video we are going to work on Firebase reset password or you can say the forgotten password functionality. So in the previous few tutorial as you remembered that we have add this field if I show you which is the forget password that is if a user click on this forget password then we will send the user you can see that forget password link we have initialized that field here which is our this one okay forget password link which is the type text view so when a user click on that we have set a click listener on that before that we have uh, cast it here okay and then we set a click listener on that so when a user click on that we will send him to the reset password activity so this is our reset password activity and we have three fields here one is the text view which is just to display the message uh, you remember that we have created this in the previous tutorial and then we have an input field for the email to get email from the user and then we have this button so the user we will basically tell the user to enter his valid email address okay once he write his email address here and when he click on the send email then we will send a link to the user email we will mail basically a link to the user to reset his password and once he click on that link then he will be able to write a new password from there so we will write the code for reset password okay for forgotten password you can say so let's do that so first of all and let me tell you that we have already initialized these fields which is the email input field and this button which is this one okay on our reset password activity you can see that so now let's work on the firebase reset password functionality and we will allow the user in this video tutorial to change or reset his password let's say if he forgot his or her password so come here uh, to your firebase authentication and here you can simply click on this authentication and we have our user IDs and now here you can see we have sign in method and the template and the usage so click here on this templates and here you can see that we have this password reset so click on this password reset when you click on this password reset here we have uh, the template for this uh, I mean that how the email will be sent to the user who is going to reset his password so you can simply you can simply click here on this edit and you can see that we have the sender name that is let's say uh, this is from coding cafe okay this app let's say your company name or your app name you can simply write here so this will be the sender uh, name and this is basically if you I hope you guys already receive mail from uh, great companies like Google etc that is you can't reply to that email if you want uh, we can write the code for that okay so for now we just write here the company name let's say here my company name is coding cafe let's say and then no reply and then this is the address or you can say the mail address that is from the company mail address and here oh, we are going to add the email address of the company that is let's say for, uh, what is the address of this company which is coding cafe let's say i'm going to write a b c d e f at the rate gmail.com that is from this uh, mail i mean this company send mail by using this address to the user who will request to reset his password okay so here you can uh, write the email address so you can write here your email address and then this will be uh, the layout for our uh, that i mean basically the template that the user will receive i mean the user who is going to uh, reset his password so you can simply write here the company name the email address and yeah that's it so now click save so you can see that email template was updated 
Now what we're gonna do? Now let's come here and let's write code for uh, sending this template or you can say this email to the user who is, who is going to change his uh, or you can say hey to change his uh, password or you can say hey, reset his password so first of all we will be needing a firebase auth so we can say private firebase auth let's call it as mauth and inside our own create method we can say mauth equals to firebase auth dot get instance so this is our mauth and now come down here and first let me show to you guys one thing when a user click on forget password then you can see we have this email input field so first we have to get the email address from this text field once the user click on this send email button so what we're gonna do first we will set a click listener on this button so this button is by the name uh, reset password send email button so here we can say send reset password which is over this button dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this we are going to get the email let's call it is user email equals to and it is stored inside this reset email input so we can say reset reset email input dot get text dot to string that's it and we need to add a validation so we can set text utils dot is empty and we this is uh, for the user email we are going to check the user email that is if it is empty then we are going to do nothing so we will uh, just notify the user by using a toast message and the message will be uh, please write your valid email address first that's it and now if it is valid then in the else part we can say i mean we can write the code to send the email so we can say m auth dot send password reset email and it needs this uh, user email which is the user email which we get from the user okay and then we will add a on complete listener add on complete listener new on complete listener and make sure to put a semicolon here first and now inside this we are going to check that is if the task is successful if the task is successful then we are going to tell the user by using the toast message that is please check your uh, please check your mail address or you can say please check your email account if you please check your email account if you want to reset your password so this is basically a toast message and once we display this message then we are going to send the user so you can say start activity new intent so we are on the reset password activity dot this and we are going to send the user to the login activity dot class that's it okay and now let's say if we get any error then in the else statement we can say that uh, we are going to display a toast message and inside this toast message we can say error occurred 
error occurred and we are going to get the error that is which type of uh, error occurred so for doing that we can create a string type variable first so let's call it as message equals to task dot get exception and this will get the error that is which type okay here you can write dot get message okay so this line of code will basically get the error type that is which type of error occur and we are storing that inside this message and we are going to display it after this error occurred so we can add a plus sign and sorry message it is message okay yeah that's it put a comma and then toss dot length short dot show so yeah everything is fine and now let's run our app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and before we uh, test the forget password let me uh, show you guys my email address i will uh, log in using my old password first and then i will change or you can say reset my password in front of you people so that we can see that if it is working fine or not so first let me log in using my old password so i will write my email address okay and then my password which you remember which is one two three four five six let's click on login so you can see that i am logged in successfully using my old password now i am going to log out from here now click log out and now let's say i forgot my password so i will simply click on this forgot password and now here I will enter my email address so this is my email address okay alizdb at 75 at the gmail.com now when I click on the send email then I will receive a mail from uh, firebase which is the app poster okay from coding cafe so let's click on the send email button so you can please check your email account if if this is a email, uh, valid email address then you will receive an email so what I will do I will go to my gmail account and I will click my gmail account okay first of all let me move it here because I have some personal emails from uh, okay so I will click on this gmail account which is my gmail account so you can see that I received a mail so I will click on that and now we can check so it says hello follow this link to reset your password and this is the email address by which i create my account inside the postal social network app which we are developing so i will click on this link in order to reset my password and you can see that it says it says reset your password for this account so i will write my new password so my new password is let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine yes up to nine so i will click on save and it says you can now sign in with your new password so congratulations now let's check it if my new password is working or not so let's come back and let's run our app and this is our app so now i am going to log in using my uh, new password so this is my email address and let me write my new password which is one two three four five six seven eight nine so I will click on login and you can see that it is loading so let's check it so you can see that congratulations you are successfully logging so wow I mean this is incredible this is awesome everything is working really nice so yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video so in this way we have successfully add the for uh, the firebase reset password functionality inside our this revolutionary social networking app which we are developing using android studio with firebase 
so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so thumbs up for this video and let me know in the comment section below about your reviews take care of yourself and yeah bye for now